Ever since I became the Will of the Star, the ether drawn here had slowly crystallized. Mm. They who have answered my call know it well. Yeah, we do. While I have remained hidden, it has become the embodiment of the planet's will in my place. A faceless, omnipotent force of nature. The Mother Crystal. Our final hope. Yeah, so we've been chilling, having like a chill Mother's Day this morning. Like, TV got me some beautiful flowers. We went to the store, we got our neighbors some flowers because, you know, she's in a rough spot with her kids and stuff. And so we, we wanted to get her some flowers and show her some love and stuff. And so we just had like this chill Mother's Day. And then I was like, let's go to Starbucks, TV. I want some Starbucks for Mother's Day. Bad idea. Don't ever go to Starbucks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. So there were these old, speaking of Karens, there were some boomer Karens that were at the Starbucks today. And I was telling TV in the car on the way back, there were some, some ladies that were like in their 70s and they were just pissed off talking to the barista like she was nothing. And I was like, dude, no, 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 no. We can't be doing that. That's rude. It's so rude. Even if they are busy, even if they do seem incompetent, it's still fucking rude. These these I mean, poor like yeah. food service. I, food I, service I have thoughts retail, of going man. in there, and I just see these people complaining, and I just get between them and the and the barista, and I would just start talking to the barista, and then they would just be like, if I if I was in there, this is what I would have done. You would have done what? I would have just gotten in front of them and stopped her from talking, and I would just talk to the barista and just. If I if I was ever in that situation, that's what I would do. You would just get in front. I would just get in front and they'd be like, what are you doing? And I wouldn't even pay attention to them because they're not they're not progressing the line. So they don't need to be in the line. So I, if they really if they want to go complain, they can go complain in the corner and wait for the manager. But I'm not gonna pay them any attention. Yeah. And why would I waste my time dealing with them? They're wasting <laughs> I almost, I almost, I was, I was sitting in there, right? And they were just in such a bad mood. And there were, we're talking about like, there were 30 people in Starbucks versus three people behind the bar. And I almost went up to the ladies that were pissed off and, and I almost did like a happy Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> just to see what they would do. Just to see if I could crack a smile on them. Most of the time, I'm very patient. Like, I'd, I'd laugh at the situation. I'd That's what I like, was doing. That's what I was doing the whole time. Okay. I, was, I was just laughing. But if I had a deadline to go, I mean, I would have just, I would have walked up to them. I would have ignored them completely. I know. <laughs> but they weren't even the holdup. It was, because I, I was after them. So it, it was, it, never mind. It's just, <laughs> yeah, I understand what you're saying. Grab a Keurig and, and yeah. heat that water up. Yep. Yeah, get some Maxwell House. I don't know about some <laughs> Maxwell House. I'm not a big Maxwell House fan. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I don't do Starbucks normally. But like on Sundays, Sundays is my Starbucks day. I go to Starbucks on Sundays so that I can I can like not fall asleep. Got a power day. through play in Final Fantasy with a coffee. <laughs> that sounds so shitty. I That's don't mean that to said. sound so shitty. <laughs> Oh man. The chores get to you sometimes. The chores. It's the chores that we do beforehand because we normally the... like clean the house and like do a detailed like <laughs> I do like dress up on Sundays I, and stuff. I, and so that's I'm, what like, I tell tired. her like we're gonna have this entire session, but you want us to do what before? You want we start? us to clean the house beforehand? <laughs> yeah, so normally right. I'm like I'm like Thank tired you. by the time we start at yeah. one o'clock. Because we, we've just we've been... lived We've lived an entire life by the time we get to you guys. A whole day by the time <laughs> one o'clock hits. I've, I've done like three loads of laundry. I've done like cleaning the house. I've like meal prepped some stuff. I've gotten groceries. Like it's a whole day before we get on stream. So y'all are awesome for always having patience and having our backs. <laughs> we appreciate it. So yeah, so that's why I get my Starbies on Sundays. <laughs> 
I just noticed you guys can see. Look at my makeshift light here. To soften the light, I put paper towels on. Isn't that great? Dude, you did that like a year and a half ago. I know, ago. but now you can see it. Yeah. Usually it's off frame and you're like, oh, what is, yeah. where's this light coming yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, it's natural light, guys. It's natural light. It's not natural. It's all practical lighting. <laughs> it's Don't all let manual any, sunlight. Any videos that you see that look good in lighting is not real. It's never the sun. They never woke never up the in the sun. morning when they when you see them getting out of the bed. No, they didn't just get out of bed. They did that at freaking 12 in the afternoon because that's when the light looks good. Lies. <laughs> Things that I learned in, in trying to figure out cinematography. TV's learning about cinematography. You're learning so much in the cinematog cinematographic world. They're like, it's not about how real it was when you took it. It's about how you tell the story of how real it could be. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. That's a People thing. People don't know the difference. People don't know the I'm difference. I'm ruining film. You are you ruining film. <laughs> Let's start Final Fantasy. Is this some Xenogear stuff, man? Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, look at this. Not what the ship looks like in the in the opening scene. It's smaller on the inside, or bigger on the inside. Oh, <laughs> it's Answer. bigger on this. <laughs> Wouldn't be smaller on the inside. It's, it's, it's a, a TARDIS. TARDIS, guys. It's a TARDIS. It's a TARDIS. Wow, we're going into a TARDIS. Point taken. Let us move on. I must warn you again, however, that even with the benefit of our device, to treat with her is not a simple feat. As you all know, alongside our physical world exists an ethereal plane, what we refer to as the ethereal sea. At the heart of the star, the physical and ethereal are one and the same. Thus, the deeper we go, the easier it comes to pass between said planes. Our work culminated in a device that allowed us to peer deeper into the ethereal sea than ever before, in search of Heidelin's ever fainter echoes. If you wish to reach her, you must journey closer to the center of the star than we have ever dared, beyond the Aetioscope. Even so, I make no guarantee that you will find her, nor of your safety. Not so deep in the ethereal sea. I know. I only wish we could do more than observe your progress from afar. Those in ages past refer to the ethereal sea as the underworld, our final resting place. In its embrace is memory washed away, leaving only the purity of one soul or so we believe. Yet what of these memories, if you think to ask what becomes of them, cast adrift on ethereal tides. Some theorize that they linger for some time, those associated with strong sentiment in particular. Thus do I caution you to be wary, but also to have faith. Remember those who did gladly extend a hand to you, that they may lift you up once more. Like our friends! Like our friends! Like I said, ah. it's friends, family, teamwork and love that solves everything all right here we go it's an elevator oh that's me That, that was us. <laughs> That's us. I like being a lighthouse. Look at me. All right. I think my tank stance is already seems on. in order with the lens. And I trust you can hear me. Yes, we can, Kyle. Those things are pure malcontent. The residue of lives unfulfilled. What is this red fire thing in the middle? This guy is tanky. Oh, it's Hilbert, the unrelenting. Nice. <laughs> I was like, why does this guy have so much health? It's because he's a deck. In the rush of familiar wisdom, the memory of principled Scion take form. Okay, okay. Ooh. Ooh, 
was it? Who was it? Oh, it's Livia. Do you remember who Livia is? Um, refresh my memory. She is the the Gaius sent. She kicked the cabbage into the wall because she was trying to look for Menphilia. Wow, I have moves. I can use my entire uh, move set. That's exciting. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for so long. Oh no. What happened? I died. I did die. I don't know. No? I don't know. You just went black. I thought I thought her name was uh Livia the underrated. But it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Follow the flow of Ether. It will guide you. Is too dense. Oh, I'm losing you. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What's going on? This is cool. Oh my gosh. What are these? It's ice. Whoa. In a rush of familiar delight, the memory of a kind hearted knight takes form. Who is that? That's Orchivon. It's Orchi. Wait, is it Orchi? It is Orchi. Oh. Guys, it's Orchi's shield. Awesome. It's broken and everything. That's our friend Orchada. Orchada. Swords. 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 As my life belongs to the Empire, in death I shall serve. Who is it? Is this the guy that got debuffed? Or that got buffed? Say we're doing it, huh? Oh, Superman! -y. Look at that. Good. That's fun. Wow. Uh oh. What is this? Baldur's Gate. We're in the deep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, we have another red fire in here. Who is this? Which friend is this? Another red fire. Look at it. Minfilia spirit. This Menfilia. She's walking. Oh. Something, something happening. Who is it? So, so it's stolen. Who is it? This is as far as you go. Oh, it's Vandalian. Sundered soul. Oh, I want you. Many faces have I worn, but this is my favorite by far. <laughs> How many times do we have to go? This is this world no longer. The stage is set. What is happening? What is this thing? What is this circle doing? Don't be in front of it.
Whoa! What just happened? <laughs> I did not see the mechanic. Neither did I. Hello there, teams. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Your dreams, your hopes, your futures, delusions, and lies. We appreciate it. Let's look at our buddies. Look at our buddies back here. Hey, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, I can't read what they're friends. saying. Get close to them. They'll say stuff to you. Like they say, he's not gone. That was cool. Did, was there was there other people that talked that I missed? I saw I saw Orchi, Mr. Orchada, uh, Menfi, Papalimo staff. Did I time it right? Push it back where? To there. Oh, sorry. I did. I timed it right. Nice. Did he just like fall face flat into the ground? Yeah. Look at that epic outfit. My very essence begins to wane. Sweet, sweet agony. Ah, oh, he's still poetry man. Hello, friend. We know you. Leave this to her. Come to deal the coup de gras. Cup the grace. Good. <laughs> Watching you struggle against the inevitable is bad comedy. Erase me from existence, soul and all. Good lord, what a thing to say. You won't do that, we're friends with you. Do you recall your days as Hermes? you know that name? Uh, that's because we're her friend. Bro, we know you. Faceless multitude, the voiceless cries, shards of shattered memories. But slowly, the fog began to clear. This was Alpis, and I, I was Hermes. But how? Recurring though it was, I paid this dream little heed. It was only when I was granted the seat and memories of Fan Daniel that I knew these visions to be true. They were the memories of Hermes that he himself erased using the power of Kairos. Or so he thought. In his attempt to burn away the events of that fateful day, he succeeded only in searing them more deeply into his soul. My soul. Death failed to expunge them. 
No matter how many times it came, rebirth after rebirth, from one Van Daniel to the next. I wonder, is Emmet Selk adrift somewhere in this ethereal sea? In defeat, finally remembering your time together in Elpis. Yeah, he saved us. How it must gall him to be entrusted with knowledge of the final days, only to be rendered powerless to act upon it. So many lifetimes dedicated to restoring his beloved Amaron in blissful ignorance. Oh, folly. But make no mistake, my life as Hermes is not the reason I invited the world's end. I have lived. I have struggled. I have dredged the very depths of despair. Mm. And in the detritus of existence, I found the truth. So dramatic. He is so dramatic. So good, though. I served a great ruler. Powerful beyond measure. The world, his dominion. Yet even he and his vast empire were destined to fall. To become one with oblivion. At the end of life's journey lies only death. So I ask you, why live at all? That's one of the questions in the song. Huh? Mm. We betray. We torment. We murder. We are wicked, spiteful creatures, without exception. If life is so sacred, so precious, why fill it with such misery? Man wallows in a hell of his own making without purpose or meaning. To live is to suffer, and I would end that suffering by my own hand. It matters not if it flies in the face of all believed right and just. Death is the only solution! Ugh. That is my truth, my answer to the question, and yet, even as the words pass my lips, I am filled with doubt, as my search reached its end. Oh, Red Wolfie. Was this the only way? After all these years. Time that with the trill. Is this the answer I was hoping for? Is not his voice too. The lamentations of the damned. How it vexes me to see your conviction falter at the last. Van Dan, still clinging to existence, I see. You, you, who champion death so fervently, unwilling to accept your own, refusing to be purified and swept into the sea of souls. As do I. Is this... Is this... Is this the douche face? We prisoners to men. Watching as the world turns. I think this is douche face. Though unlike me, you will be spared the ignorance of having your corpse made a puppet. Dancing to another's tune. Is that... Arsie? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Douche face. <laughs> How 
very astute. <clears throat> but let me be clear, I have not come to consort with the likes of you. Nor have I come to bemoan the state of the world following my untimely demise. In fact, I delight in mankind's downfall and the anguish it brings the savior of the savages. If I played some small part in the chaos, all the better. Not that I was in any position to resist. But to be made accomplice to the betrayal of Lord Xenos. Ah, get over it, bro. I would die a thousand deaths to exact my vengeance. Still got that crazy face going. Yeah, he does. Check that out. Look at that face. Oh my gosh. Man, where's this? His sister's got to be down here somewhere. Just take him away. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, she's got to be Where down here sister somewhere. Yeah. Where's sister? Sister's not there yet. Yes, yeah, she is. She died. She. Oh, that's... Yeah, we killed her. No. Now you are she, at We killed my her and then she mercy. killed him. I shall drag us both into oblivion. And you will never see the fulfillment of your magnum opus. What is this crazy underworld over Even here? Even should you be reborn. That's right. Your yeah. desperate search for answers must start again. Crazy. Look at his eyes. Look They're so face. dilated. That redness. I'll do what must be done. All right. <laughs> and what might that be? Give Medion her answer. <laughs> <laughs> My wish is all but granted. To die and take you all with me. Goodness. Don't try to follow me. I had more of you people than I could stomach in life. <laughs> Never mind in death. <laughs> well then. Likewise, I pray we do not meet again. Right. <laughs> right back at you, dick. Dick. <laughs> Douchebag. You had better hope. Not. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, okay, okay. Golden Road. Come. Hydalin is waiting. So good. With the light shining on him right there. That was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a trial. You must cross an icy bridge to get to, to get to where you need to be. Yep. <laughs> Elsa. Yes, Elsa. Elsa does that. The mother crystal. Is it? Is it? it is. Brave travelers, I welcome you. Mommy. <gasps> it is Mother's Day. Yes. You look different. We meet again, Vana. <laughs> you look different. <laughs> Mother's Day, we get to see mommy. <sighs> I see. Allowed its journey under Elpis. Hey, hey. And now the rivers of time converge. I know why you have come, yet I would hear you speak your reasons all the same. Zoom out. Screenshot. 
You created the moon to deliver mankind from the final days. But is that really how it has to end? We do not wish to abandon this world. We want to protect the source and all of its shards. Mm. To flee is but one of two paths. Uh oh The other leadeth to Meteon, far beyond the stars, where she doth chant creation's requiem. Okay, so we do have a second option. Yeah, what, well, yeah. So we gotta go beat Meteon. Well, I wasn't sure if that was the only option, was was beating Meteon and still fleeing to the moon. Oh, no. Yeah, we gotta beat her. That's why we gotta use the aircraft to go up to her. Right, right, right. Right, no, I get it. Her domain is formed of dynamis, pure, absolute, where emotion and memory govern all. Ether will avail you naught. Mm. Meteon hath gathered the pain and despair of countless stars, and to go unprepared is to go unto your doom. Okay. We'll beat her. We'll win. I swear it. Alizé with all the confidence. Is what I might have said once. Okay. A little more realistic. After everything I've seen, all the times I've succumbed to my own anger and fear. no longer pretend that courage and faith will be enough. Mm. But are we truly so powerless that our only choice is to flee? Right. Far from it, my child. Long ago, the inhabitants of myriad stars, many more prosperous than Atheris, sought to free their worlds from life's woes. Sorrow and anger, conflict and hostility, despair, and even death itself. But as Meteon reported, every attempt ended in failure. Darkness abideth within every living being and can never be cast out. Neither reason nor faith can challenge this immutable truth. Yeah, I'm loving her hair. To live is to suffer. And in suffering, find strength and purpose and hope. Ugh, so good. As you have done so many times before. Thou dost pursue an impossible dream, yet knowing this, you pursue it nevertheless, and thou hast learned to depend on others as they do thee. Thy yearning for the power to save the powerless hath ever driven thee to greater heights. Thou hast grown strong. Though those closest to thee no longer walketh by thy side, their love remaineth thy guiding light. For duty's sake, thou hast been bound by truths unutterable time and time again. Yet thy heart hath never wavered, as thy companions will attest. In thy pursuit of mysteries great, all thou believest is brought into question. Undaunted, thy thirst for knowledge remaineth unquenched. The fires of hatred that once burned in thy heart burneth no more. From their ashes doth spring the light of love, warm and pure. As witness to black calamity, thou despaired at man's helplessness. Resolved, thou didst unite a distant world on the brink of collapse. Belf. And thou, my champion, when all did seem lost, thou never abandoned hope. For every trial and every foe that did bar thy way, thou hast proven equal to the challenge 
drawing courage from the many bonds forged on thy journey. You have all known despair, and though the end approaches, you walk on, heads held high. Therein lieth your power, the strength to silence the song of oblivion. Then there is a means to confront her. Yes, if you should prove yourselves worthy. Hark! It wasn't that bad. Which means we're all right. <gasps> Nigh impossible is it to send mortals to the edge of the universe. Should you fail, there will be no second chance. Oh my gosh. Yes! As the will of the star, I ask of you this. Do you possess the fortitude to stand firm when all around you does crumble? Do you possess the faith to vanquish despair itself? Should you lack the strength to best a supreme deity, I cannot allow you to make the journey. You must leave this star and never return. Oh my god. What? What? Prepare yourselves. I'm a little stressed. <laughs> Move ourselves worthy, then. Sounds straightforward enough. Aye. No room for confusion there. Okay. In any case. We've come too far to back down now. Yes. So good. I am of the same mind. What power I have, I shall bring to bear. Oh, get it, Uriange. Look at these. Ugh, the three of you yes. seem to be forgetting who we're up against. It's not every day we battle a divine being of untold power. We do. Well, not quite every day. <laughs> well... <laughs> Do try not to get underfoot. Needless to say, there'll be no margin for error. Let us hold nothing back. For the people of this world and those beyond the rift. I pose to thee in Elpis hath remained unanswered these long years. Ah, we finally get to answer I would it. hear thy response, warrior of light. Shouldst thou emerge victorious. You don't gotta fight, I could just tell you the answer. The Mother Crystal. The Mother Crystal. We did not. <laughs> we thought we'd have to queue up. <laughs> All right, that was it. Let's do it. Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. Get my shit ready. Come here. Look at all our friends. So good. Look at us. Heidelin. Look at her. Oh, my God. Wow. I, the last of my kind, shall test thee. She is. Come, prove thy worth. She's the last of the unsung. Oh my god. 
god, I'm so excited! We got a ready check, guys. Make sure you're ready, check. <gasps> look how good we look! Patrick, uh, you got some glasses on there. <laughs> check it out. Fail. We didn't have our portraits going. Have you the strength of will to right, alter this. man's fate? New rotation. I'm gonna look at the floor a lot. I'm not gonna see Heidelin. <laughs> a change of arms. Do May just... the test continue. We're near or far. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. The controller. <laughs> Give me my other controller. <laughs> and now this. I was like, my controller died? What happened? My controller died. Oh my god. <laughs> what a time for it to just die. Good <laughs> night. Lights are healed. Epic. We're near or far. <gasps> oh no, what happened? I don't know. Don't mind me. Oh gotcha, why is it red? Should I be in it? I don't know, I'm gonna be in it. Oh. Was I not supposed to be in it? <laughs> Thanks, TV. I don't think I was supposed to be in it. <laughs> Are we destroying crystals? Here. Oh no. Uh oh. She's even closer. Destroy the crystals. The soul of creation's end. Feel. The sorrow hopes demise. Wow, she's finishing her words. Think. <gasps> Find your way in the darkness. Then you are resolved. But this test is far from over. By Crystal's light. Wow. Oh, my God. I'm up. I'm up still. Let's get him back up. Uh oh. Stack. Oh, no, guys. I'm alive. Oh, God. I'm oh, alive. God. No one else is alive. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh no, there you go. And that was a wipe. Yes! We finally wiped! <laughs> oh my. By play! Got it. Oh shit. Okay, shoot. I saw that one. Alright. Alright, what did I do wrong? Uh, I didn't know where you were. Crystals oh. of light! To, to me! That, so. Okay, okay. Okay, crystals, what color are we going? We'll go where everyone is. We'll just go to where everyone is and we'll destroy the closest one. Okay. This one. This is what she's been trying to tell us this entire time. Oh, oh my gosh. It's all coming full circle. I can't even. Oh, come over here. Come over here. Come over Oh no! We were just supposed to beat you, not kill you. At last, man has the strength to. Thank you guys for helping us. Alright, here we go. Oh, I 
I didn't see your sword you're holding. Sorry. No! <laughs> this can't be happening! <laughs> Though my power is in constant flux, I have always kept a reserve for this very moment. It was a true test of your prowess. You have done well. We got mommy's approval. There is one thing I must ask. By sundering the world into 14 shards, the ether of all living beings too was divided. This reduction would in theory allow us to more easily interact with Dynamis. Okay. Having seen mankind brought to the very precipice of extinction, you wished for us to develop a means to overcome despair. You believed we had the potential, and sundered all creation to see it fulfilled. To deliver us to that swirling maelstrom of Dynamis in which our foe hides, and grant us the power to defeat her once and for all. Is this not true? It is. It is as thou sayest. Twas the trial to which I subjected mankind, and it hath led to untold bloodshed and suffering. There was no kindness, nor justice in the tragedy I wrought. <laughs> when confronted with the almighty Zodiac, my only recourse was rend him and the world asunder, that his power be diminished for a time. And so it came to pass. Now you, my chosen, have surpassed my expectations. Surpassed me. I entrust the fate of the universe unto you. This crystal contains the memory of Meteon's passage through the stars. Oh my gosh. It's a map. Deliver it unto the Loperets. They will guide you to her. Though they may be capable of crossing great distances, there is a vast difference between traveling to the moon and the furthermost reaches of the great expanse. And unlike Meteon, we cannot simply soar on waves of dynamis to our destination. Indeed. To make such a journey would require an astronomical amount of ether. But a solution lieth close at hand. Of course. Yes, my child. Ever since I became the will of the star, the ether drawn here had slowly crystallized. Wow. They who have answered my call know it well. Yeah, we do. While I have remained hidden, it has become the embodiment of the planet's will in my place. Faceless, omnipotent force of nature. The Mother Crystal. Our final hope. Wow. Alas. I can do no more. The fulfillment of this task doth fall to you, my chosen. Now, heed these words. Darkness and light, despair and hope. As go with one, so go with the other. Become light, become hope. I have a gift for thee. Come closer. Little sus. 
Long have I searched for a means to safeguard the future of this star. Lo, I knew failure after failure, by recalling thy tales and my promise to thee, I found the strength to carry on. Though the world is ever changing, thy thirst for adventure hath never waned. Thine unshakable resolve never ceases to amaze, to inspire. As a mark of my gratitude, I bestow this final gift. Thou dost possess the crystal of Azam, yes? As Heidelin, I reside over the forces of stasis, tranquility, peace. The laws which impart stability to existence itself. I will weave this self-same power into the crystal, granting thee mastery over matter, to give form to the formless. Use it wisely, or it will not last indefinitely. What are we going to use that on? I, we're going to create something. As thou hast seen on thy journey through the ethereal sea, souls are drawn to thee. Mayhap this trait will prove to be a boon rather than a hindrance. <laughs> it is thy hopes and prayers that enable Asim's invocations and give them life. So keep them close. But pray, remember this. The way forward is in, even from the mind's eye. Look not to the invocation, but within yourself. These were the words of the crystal's original bearer. With that, my work is finished. Fulfill our promise. Right the wrongs committed when the world was yet whole. Silence the song of oblivion. Mm. Teach her a brighter melody. Show her our journey is far from over. We will find our way, Vanon. Told us this was gonna happen. Yours is still around. <laughs> Give her a call, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> oh man, hey, this. What? Guys, hey, y'all got a trigger warning us. <laughs> hey. No, <laughs> everyone else apparently did. Because we, we did not. 
<laughs> oh, oh lord. <laughs> and that's it for Final Fantasy. Click that video before Lego falls asleep.